Stop buying micellar water. Micellar water is a great one-step facial cleanser that's gentle, fast, and easy. But it's kind of expensive to buy and DIY versions are often tacky and lacking in the performance department. I know this because I made a lot of seriously subpar micellar water on my way to developing this formulation. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make my favorite micellar water formulation. It works like a treat, isn't sticky, leaves your skin feeling fabulous, and is a fraction of the cost of store-bought. I'll also be sharing the key must-have ingredient that makes a micellar water that works like the pricey brand name stuff does, and the most important formulation principle to keep in mind when creating micellar waters. We'll begin by weighing out the ingredient that forms the bulk of micellar water. Water. <laughs> My cellar water is over 98% water, so it's amazing that a pint of the stuff can cost 20 bucks. Seriously though. Target sells a 500 milliliter bottle of Bioderma micellar water for $18.99. But for $18.58, you can make 4,000 milliliters of your own micellar water. This is the rare DIY where it's actually cheaper in every way, not just cheaper by the gram, but it's actually cheaper to go out and buy brand new bottles of each ingredient and make it yourself. You can use plain distilled water for all of the water part, or you can trade out 20% or so for other watery ingredients like witch hazel, aloe vera juice, or a hydrosol for other skincare benefits. I've decided I'm going to include a blend of lavender and rosemary hydrosols for a lovely scent. So for this 300 gram batch, only 234.3 grams distilled water. But if you want to keep things simple and skip the fancy water, you'll need 294.3 grams distilled water. Up next, the lovely smelling hydrosols. 45 grams of lavender hydrosol stars in the scent department, while 15 grams of a really fresh local rosemary hydrosol adds a spicy herbal accent. Those two beakers are a whopping 98.1% of the formulation. I know this much water is kind of boring, but I've got my reason. Hear me out, because this is the most important formulation principle to keep in mind when making micellar water. Micellar water is a rare leave-on cleansing product. We swipe it across our skin and don't rinse afterwards, so it needs to feel good when it dries on your face. It's definitely tempting to incorporate skincare goodies like extracts and vitamins, but in my experience, these additions can make for a tacky micellar water at surprisingly low concentrations. There's definitely room to include some. Check out the description box for formulations that use ingredients like calendula extract and vitamin B5, but you generally need to keep usage rates quite Low. Now let's get back into that last 1.9%. This is where the skin cleansing, non-sticky magic lives. You'll need 1% of a humectant. Three easy options include sodium lactate, vegetable glycerin, and propanadiol 1,3. You can use just one or a blend, just make sure it totals three grams for this 300 gram batch. I'm using three grams of sodium lactate for my micellar water as I find it performs the best out of the three options. Up next, a preservative to keep things stable and safe. I'm using Liquid Germal Plus at half a percent, so I'll weigh out one and a half grams of it. You can use a different water-soluble preservative if you want, but be sure you are using it at the right level and check with your supplier for what that is. Since this formulation is almost entirely water, preservatives based around not really water-soluble ingredients like phenoxyethanol or benzyl alcohol aren't a great choice. And now we've got just one ingredient left, the one that makes this micellar water. It's the surfactant that creates the micelles that gently cleanse the skin. This specific ingredient is key. I tried heaps of different surfactants and settled on the same one that Bioderma uses in their popular and expensive micellar water. Every other surfactant I tried left my skin feeling sticky, tight, and unpleasant, so I'm afraid I do not have any substitution suggestions for this ingredient. You'll need 0.4% PEG6 caprylic and capric triglycerides, which is 1.2 grams for this 300 gram batch. PEG6 caprylic capric triglycerides is a water-soluble emollient made from coconut oil. It is very different from caprylic and capric triglycerides, also sold as medium-chain triglycerides, and caprylyl and capryl glucoside. Think of caprylic capric triglycerides as cocoa butter, caprylyl capryl glucoside as milk chocolate, and PEG6 caprylic capric triglycerides as cocoa powder. It's far from a perfect metaphor, but the general gist is they're made from the same source material, but they are not at all interchangeable. 
I've linked to all the places I've found that sell this ingredient in the free Humble Bee and Me DIY encyclopedia entry on it, so make sure you check that out if you are having trouble finding it. And that is it for the ingredients, so all that's left now is mixing everything together. The micellar water will be a bit cloudy, and that's okay. I decided to prioritize skin feel over clarity for this formula. Pour your fabulous micellar water into a bottle. I like one with an orifice reducer like these 100 milliliter bottles from Yellow Bee. To use, soak a cotton pad, reusable or disposable, with micellar water and swipe across the skin to cleanse. You can use micellar water as your only cleanser or follow up with something else, like one of these simple three ingredient homemade cleansing bombs if you prefer a double cleanse. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!